What is up, pizzas? Corey Vincent here, and you are listening to Video Game Bang, brought to you by NerdReactor.com. What are you reacting to? And Corsair Gaming. Uh, this is a very special episode because we have a new player entering the octagon, a first-time panelist in the studio with us, Joey Ferris. He is a fellow Nerd Reactor writer, as well as a amazing YouTuber. Uh, you're going to get to hear all about him. Uh, and what is cool about him is he is a Nintendo fanatic. And today is, of course, the birthday of Nintendo. So we're talking about the Wii U, uh, its troubled past, the future, looking to the future of uh, some potential NXT stuff. Uh, lots of good stuff on the show. I want to encourage you, if you're not already, please subscribe to the podcast. If there's one thing you can do to help us out, it's subscribe. If you're listening to iTunes, subscribe. Stitcher, subscribe. Uh, SoundCloud, subscribe. Please just subscribe to the show. Uh, get the automatic updates so when we put out a new show, it's on your phone already. You don't have to go find it or nothing. We have a great show for you guys lined up. I hope you enjoy it. Uh, all that and much, much more on this week's... Welcome to another exciting episode of Video Game Bang. Video Game Bang. Your weekly source for all things video game. Featuring your fearless hosts, Corey Vincent. I'm pretty much uh, Microsoft and Marvel. The cans are on. The ish gets real. I you get shot during the day? And Aaron Carter. By the armor, I equip it, and it's like pink thong. The guy that delivers vending machine items in my, in my job. He can play <laughs> the right <laughs> now. Fill up your Mountain Dew and grab your Doritos. It's time for Video Game Bang. What is up, pizza? It's Corey Vincent here, and you are listening to Video Game Bang, brought to you by NerdReactor.com. What are you reacting to? And uh, our other sponsor, Corsair Gaming. What are you gaming to? Is that there? Mm, I have absolutely no idea. Power to the gamers. Is that it? I don't, no? I don't know. I thought it was come sail with us. <laughs> <laughs> come sail away. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, you heard his voice, you know him, you love him, he has never missed a show in his life. He is the golden voice gangster, the senpai from Grant High, Aaron Carter. What's up, everybody? Uh, Aaron, you are looking fantastic today. Am I? Because I'm extremely dirty. I just got off of work. <laughs> like, <laughs> you, you have, you have a very nice... It's just your skin nice, tone, Aaron. Don't yeah. oh, that's oh. racism. That's racist. Uh, we just are streaming this one live to Twitch, yes. uh, so uh, we do have a... We're doing something new. Yeah, we're just trying some. We've been streaming every day this week. Up. Every day. Every day. We got a couple of new followers. We got new followers. We yeah. got David Webb on Mondays. Mm -hmm. We got Aaron Carter on Tuesdays. Mm -hmm. This very show you're watching right now on Wednesdays. On hump day. <laughs> hump day. Oh, yeah. you ladies. Uh, I will be... Let's see. I will be Thursdays. I was about to say, do you not know what comes <laughs> after Wednesday? <laughs> I do not know what comes after Wednesday. And then on Friday... It will be Larissa. Uh, joining us also on the show, he has been gone for a while, but he is back with style and attitude. Look at that. What's that shirt? Is that a... Great Scott. It's a crossover t-shirt between Back to the Future and Scott Pilgrim. There you go. Yeah, I know things. Welcome There's Steven things. Gutierrez. What's going on, people? How you been, Steven? I'm good. How you doing? What are we looking at? Uh, well, we're looking at the wonderful chat screen that you have you no know, access I, to. I've, I've never used this. So this if is, you want to talk, brand new. If you want to talk crap about Steven, feel free. Literally behind his back. Literally behind, behind my back. The man's back. Oh. Behind it. Uh, and then don't write the word wet. A I'll very special special guest joining us for the first time ever on the show. He is a fellow nerd reactorian. Uh, he is. He works with Sack Anime on stuff. He's a very uh, talented filmmaker on the Hue Tubes. Uh, his name is Joey Ferris. Hi. How's everybody doing today? I love how you called it the Hue Tubes. I've never heard it called that before in my life. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, no H to it. The Hue Tubes. The Hue Tubes. The Hue Tubes. <laughs> the Hue -tubes. Joey, Joey uh, you're a young guy. You're, you're new, relatively new to the industry. What, what's going on? Relatively new, I guess. Um, what defined industry? There's a lot of industries. Yeah, I guess. what industry are you talking about? You got your yeah. hand in a lot of pots. Gross. Let's put it that way. Yes. I, I Nerd Reactor is pretty much the first and only website I write for. And uh, we're also thinking about. I'm also trying to, to make my, my YouTube videos a thing on Nerd Reactor to also as well. For those who don't know, I have a YouTube channel called Ferris Wheel Productions. You guys should check it out. I think it's pretty funny and kind of bad at the same time, but that's just me being, uh, being not, not egotistical. 
I don't know. Good lord, we usually save the plugs till the end, but this guy wants to jump yeah. in like we're gonna kick I didn't him out know. or something you, like you that. You don't tell me the rules. Welcome to Joey's, <laughs> Welcome tell me the rules. To Joey's Kickstarter, everybody. <laughs> Jeez, links below. Oh it'd be goodness. a go it'd be a GoFundMe, actually. Jeez. Oh, you don't like Kickstarter? I'm I'm kidding, I don't oh, know. Alright. I have a potato salad Kickstarter. <laughs> there you go. Hey, you might get funded there. Yeah. God, I'm turning red. I'm embarrassed now. Oh, wow. wow. Uh, and hey, so Joey for the people in the face. chat, we, I see chat is starting to build up. We got some awesome people in chat. Vazio82 is an awesome streamer. Love that guy. Ruha Berserker, good friend of the show. Razor, uh, Irish on fire. He's cool. The thing is, guys, that this is the Wednesday show, so we're not going to be as interactive. I know it sounds like a drag. What? I know. I'm sorry. Uh, on the wall. Usually, yeah, this is more of a fly on the wall type of thing. We're doing this for extra content. This is like a bonus just for you guys. That's uh, yeah, nice. I like that. Because, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, usually we do this all by ourselves, and it's really isolated experience. But we may ask questions. There's a lot of stuff that we're going to have questions on that we might need you guys to Google for us. And they were like, they're literally when I was streaming yesterday, it was correction capital. Oh yeah, anything oh. I was saying. Yeah, uh, it's wrong. Any, it was it, anything anybody said. Yeah, anybody anything said. Yeah, it was in, everybody in the that Skype was call. Was it was already just critique. You know, uh, excuse me. No, that happened three years uh, ago. Mario was actually a carpenter before yes, he was a plumber. Exactly, <laughs> ceramic dragon. I'm talking to you. The huge. <laughs> See zero shift or. Uh, Oh, zero no, evidence. zero evidence. Zero That's evidence. right. Zero evidence. Ceramic Dragon was in the beginning. We already have two then, yeah. 916s in the chat. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> One of them is me. Um, we got a, you know, this is how we pay the bills. Uh, if you guys listen to the show, it is, of course, brought to you by NerdReactor.com and Corsair Gaming. Corsair has been a great partner of ours. They helped us build this very studio we are in today. They uh, helped us finance, not really finance, but they sent us a lot of amazing PC parts. We are working on a video that will document our build. We kind of went at it in an approach where we had one experienced PC builder, uh -huh. a guy who's done it a lot, Alexander Bags. You know him, love him from the show. Uh, we went with the middle of the range guy. I know some things. The game has changed since I built a computer in high school. So there's a lot of uh, the What year was that? Oh, way back in 2005, 2006. I was 10. Wow. wow. <laughs> Holy God damn. Wow. I thought I was so cool with my <laughs> technologies back then. And then Aaron, who knows absolutely nothing. I know a little bit. I put in the memory. Did I not? We did let you put in the memory. Read yes. it with a wrench. It took him about eight hours. But he Speaking got of me. coarse hair, I had just ordered a CPU liquid cooler from them, and it's in. And it's at my house right now. Really? Which uh, one did you get? Uh, H75. That's the one we have. Oh, well, what do you know? It is you freaking go. good. Yes, it is. We got their modular power supply. The power supply is usually the most boring thing you put in a PC. Mm -hmm. Like <laughs> No one goes and buys a power supply and is like, oh, yeah, check out this power supply, baby. It is the thing. <laughs> That is important. It's important. <laughs> it's it's important. very important. You need it. Everything else is useless. Everyone puts that. so much focus into the processor or the motherboard yeah. or whatever. We open this. I was like, okay, big whoop. Yeah, it's going to be a power supply, whatever. We open it, and it's in like a crushed velvet sack, like a like a <laughs> bottle of Crown Royale. Yeah, it was. Yeah. And then yeah, it, it had all the braided, nice, sexy cabling and its nice <laughs> little Velcro packet to the side. Uh, it was – it made me – did excited. You, did you tear a little bit? I cried a little bit. Did you hear like those like Roman Catholic churches, <laughs> the songs in the back? Oh, Terrible. <laughs> I kind of expected everything else that we unboxed that day to be the same. They they put a lot of the. It yeah. wasn't quite as. <laughs> oh, I was like, oh, motherboard, fucking cardboard box, <laughs> yeah. no, no bubble wrap. And they're making a liquid cooled uh, GPU now. Oh yeah, I saw that. It looks very clean. So mm. lots of liquids we'll coming from Corsair. Lots of liquids. <laughs> uh, but so on to the, the show, networks. we have a great show. liquid dear brother. <laughs> <laughs> Joey is here with us. Uh, let's get to know Joey a little bit better. Since, yeah, you know, tell us about yourself. Tell us about yourself. What's For the your ladies out there. <laughs> yeah. Well, my first console was an Xbox 360. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say. Holy crap. <laughs> what? He said he was five hell. <laughs> when Corey was graduating. Uh, yeah. Um, I was 10, actually. But yeah. Uh, what was your first console then? It was actually a PlayStation 1. Uh, That's still pretty damn old. It, it, oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, it's... it's what was that? That was my second console. I, I never had that. Say. What was your first? I'm curious. Sega. Sega. Okay, because after the PlayStation, I got a Super Nintendo, and so I thought it was 
Oh, so you went I, forward and backwards in yes, time. Yes, exactly. Okay, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Super Nintendo uh, was like the first time I really got into Nintendo, uh, which is my all-time favorite video game company. Which we're going to talk about because it is, of course, everyone knows that today is the 100th? 126th 20th? anniversary, birthday, whatever you will, of Nintendo's existence. So is that like after they created the first deck of playing cards? Pretty then, much. Yeah. yeah, back in, what was it? 1800 something. 63? They know. made playing cards, did they? Yeah. <laughs> have you ever seen those cards? No, they I gave haven't. them out years ago, too. I, I imagine there'd be a Yoshi on it somehow. No, it, it, it literally, <laughs> you wouldn't even recognize it. Like, really? Yeah. It didn't look anything like what <laughs> Nintendo has today. But um, I remember them giving them out with a game. Like, they bundled it with some game on one of their anniversaries, and it was just like, nobody wants this. That's, super, <laughs> <It's> like, uh, <laughs> that's pretty cool. It's something that would be in a loot box or something mm-hmm. like that. Yeah, but if you don't know anything about Nintendo, then you just be like, what are these cards? Like, the game isn't a game people play today. Mm, note to self, we got to talk about Lunchbox. Yeah. Or not Lunchboxes. Uh, Lunchboxes. <laughs> <laughs> we got to talk about Loot Crates. Uh, but, okay, Nintendo, you went back in time, had way more fun on the Nintendo. I, didn't, I wouldn't say I had way more fun. I had an equal amount of fun. But, um, yeah, I really liked Nintendo. What, what games? What are the games we're talking about here? Uh, well, Super Mario World, of course, was one of them. The best. Okay, yeah. Yes. Um, I actually had some really good, um, like, licensed games back when li- there was really more good licensed games. Like, there was a Mickey and Minnie one that I forgot. It was about in a circus. And that Animaniacs game. Oh, yeah. So good. Yeah, Animaniacs that one. was pretty good. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, the, like, the... What, what kind of genre would you call it? The Batman Returns game? Beat 'em up. That was a beat 'em up. Beat 'em mm-hmm. up game. Yeah, yeah, that was really good. It was a Batman Returns game. Old the, obscure yeah. licensed Ooh, game. Aaron, what's your favorite? Old obscure uh, mischief makers on the Nintendo sixty four. Wow, you really did a good, good job. Uh, <laughs> he threw me so for one. That game, you. I don't even know the story really, but uh, <laughs> cause mischief. If anybody knows, uh, shake shake. Shake shake. Yeah. Because that's I, how you beat everything. You shook it. I love the Space Jam basketball game. I don't think I played that. <laughs> I one. rented Jeez. it from Blockbuster like 50 times. What's that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's Blockbuster. You really right? It, it was yeah. so good, though. He's serious. There's like that's mini the games crazy in between. <laughs> like during halftime, you'd have to be, I think, Daffy. and you'd You couldn't sneak. rest during halftime? No, it's you a didn't rest. Game. No, you, you went out and you snuck into like Michael Jordan's house to get his secret stuff. Wow. Like, it was, it was a so fun breaking game. It in, breaking right? it in. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Looney Tunes. Jeez. It's dance. okay if it's a celebrity's house. Yeah. <laughs> and you're a cartoon. And you're a cartoon, yeah. Re- real talk, though, I, I really went to Blockbuster a lot when it was about to close. Like, when I was uh, summer 2011, it was the best summer of my life. <laughs> I wonder <'Cause> how <laughs> many people, when Blockbuster was on the verge of dying, just, just kept their stuff. I feel like oh lot. hell yeah <laughs> oh yeah I, yeah I think I'm gonna rent this movie like you're, yeah yeah well, I take it late back fees now. here's the thing Those are gone like in the 90s I kept it and never paid it so <laughs> that's terrible, <laughs> that's terrible. <laughs> like, I still have a copy of like Titanic 10 years from now you're gonna get a, a letter in the mail from the guy that owned Blockbuster <laughs> suing you guys I have Titanic on VHS somewhere with the it's <laughs> probably not rewound is it? <laughs> be kind never. rewind yeah. I didn't rewind that stuff come on son yeah. uh, what else you got Joey so you moved into the Super Nintendo. Are you like a Zelda guy? Because there's like certain brands you of see, Nintendo guys. Um, after the Super Nintendo, like I still went back and played on PlayStation. It's, it wasn't like that. But uh, I, w- I didn't just leave them off to the side like that. It wasn't like that. But um, I, I tried to make that funny, but I guess I'm not funny. So <laughs> wow. then I got a GameCube in 2003, really late in its life, like halfway through almost. It was right before the price dropped to $100. Ooh. So, Ooh, so I soft. kind of feel sorry for whoever bought it for me. I think it was my mom who did. If you're wow. listening, mom, I love you. Um, <laughs> you really <laughs> held on to that like fifty bucks or whatever. <laughs> yeah, really. And then um, I didn't get into Zelda until I got a Wii three years later because the only game I really wanted to play for just because I heard it was good was Twilight Princess. Very and I'm good like, one. Yeah. This. Good. But you got it on the Wii. Yeah, because wow. the GameCube version came out a month later. Oh, that's right. And it, it was did. hard to get a hold of. Yeah, see, I waited for the GameCube version mm-hmm. I, uh, just to play with a controller. I bought it yeah. from a friend. <laughs> well, I mean. Yeah, he beat it, and then I was like, all right, I'll just buy it from you. Yeah, so, I, yeah. I then after that, I went back and played as many Zelda games as I could. Wind Waker. Um, I even bought the old NES ones and Super Nintendo one, which I just recently beat on Virtual Console, and now I'm playing A Link Between Worlds, and now I'm just 
sitting in the corner crying waiting for Zelda U to come out <laughs> uh, the underrated ones that I know a lot of people didn't really get to play uh, Oracle Seasons yeah oh, and, yes. ages. and Ages yeah actually ones, that but. was my first Zelda game uh, my cousin had a Game Boy Color and she had Oracle of Seasons those are good ones Minish Cap was one of those Minish Cap was another mm-hmm. good one yep. but they it's like they get overlooked when everybody's yeah. like oh you know Ocarina of Time and all that stuff and like these were good these, ones too like, it's pretty much always the handhelds that get overlooked my, uh, my favorite one hands down has always been Link to the Past. Link to the Past. I can that's, see why. That's the best one to me. It like, really is. I don't care about the 3D ones. I didn't even finish Ocarina of Time. Like, Link to the Past oh, is not my favorite, one. but I think that one was like, had the most thought put into it, is especially considering uh, you can go through that game, it, it'd be hard, you can go through that game without have, finding half of the things you need. Yeah. And that's like, what? Because my friend came over one day and said, oh, you're having trouble past this part? Well, let's go back outside and find some stuff that you really need. And I'm like, what? You, yeah. you had to do that? Yeah. <laughs> How are you supposed to know that? And it, it's, it's crazy. See, they didn't tell you shit in video yeah. games back then. I was going to say, there's no internet, so you could When I run, replayed uh, Resident Evil Remastered, mm. it had been a long time since I played the game. And I was expecting a tutorial level. Or something, or, or you know, oh, I, I'm collecting Listen. pieces. You had to really. That's why we were smarter than this current generation. I I think that's you know why what? video like, ga- that's puzzle not, video games. That's not even a diss to the current dinner. You got they no, they just spoon feed you everything so much yeah. nowadays. Yeah, like I think what the hardest ones are like Bloodborne, Dark and Souls, Dark Souls oh, series. Yeah, so it's yeah. like, and those if you so only good. got two out of the whole thing. Then I mean, I have like all the games, then it's just like okay. You had to be a mini Sherlock fucking Holmes, and it was good <laughs> to be. <laughs> and we like a prodigy. You had to be a child prodigy oh, to be playing. Especially for Evil RPGs, one. for Final Fantasies on Super oh, Nintendo, yeah, stuff like even, that. Even you didn't know where the hell it went. Yeah. Oh, like, where you to go? Like, what are you supposed to do in those games? Let's also not forget the very first Zelda game. But I bet Final Fantasy was the worst offender of that. But yeah, Zelda, the first Zelda game literally tells you nothing. Yeah, you're just a guy. You're just a Peter Pan. So here's a to sword. Find his no. <laughs> but it, I Have mean, fun. that's what that's what you know the developer wanted. Mm-hmm. He, his whole thing was it reminded him of his childhood, exploring his backyard in the yeah. forest and stuff like that. Well, Miyamoto. that's what you do. Yeah. So you just pick up a sword and you explore until you find you know. And then you'll find a princess. Yeah. Get married. Get divorced. Kiss the <laughs> yeah. Jesus. I mean, it's the only Nintendo. I mean. Their birthday, you know, their anniversary or whatever. They're the only actual video game company from the, you know. Yeah. And they have, like, staples of video games. When anybody thinks video games, you know, you automatically play, oh, Mario. Yeah, you know, Mario's the for first. For your one. casual people. We used to have people come in the GameStop looking for Mario on, like, the Xbox and the <laughs> PlayStation. You guys got Mario? Like, when parents would come in, we're like, I want them to have Mario on the PlayStation. We're like, well... That's not gonna happen. It's lady. not gonna happen. That's not gonna but happen. why? Yeah, like, <laughs> isn't Mario video game? Is it he, incarnate? Mr. Video yeah, like, game? Yeah, like, <laughs> like, come on, lady, just here's Crash Bandicoot. Or something like that. <laughs> you just tell him it's uh, Mario's retarded squ- pet yeah, squirrel. Like, yeah, he he spawned off the game. Yeah, yeah. So there <laughs> he you literally go. did. Like, I went. Crash Bandicoot was my first favorite video game character, and mm. uh, now and then I recently went back and watched a playthrough of it because I was too lazy to put it back in my PS3. Oh. I'm like, oh my god, this is literally just Mario. Yeah, it was kind of. Yep. <laughs> yeah, it was. Uh, it, they've they spawned a whole bunch of games. They've helped you know create a whole bunch of genres and stuff like that. And I mean, they haven't stopped over you know hundred plus years. So oh my god. Stuff. So fast forward, we're going back to. Uh, Mr. Joey here. You do a YouTube channel, YouTube channel called Ferris Wheel Productions, a mm-hmm. play off of your last name. Very clever. Uh-huh. Thank, you, thank you. I no, do I like it. I was like Ferris Bueller's. Your last name is <laughs> Wheel? <laughs> no. So. Yeah. And it's the, actually Productions. Thank you very much. It's Productions. <laughs> the videos are really good. That's the thing. Like, he got brought on Nerd Reactor. I saw, okay, another Sacramento guy. Let's see what he's got. Because the first thing he does is plugs his YouTube channel. Mm-hmm. And I go there expecting not what I got. I got some really good content. Like... No offense, but I get skeptical. Uh, you know? Like we all do. Yeah, yeah we all Everybody get skeptical. Does. And uh, they're very thoughtful. They're more a short film type themed uh, review. I believe the first one I saw was could have been Batman or Witcher. Was it Witcher? I don't know. I think it... Well, those were Witcher two was of, very good. Thank you very much. The, the Batman and Witcher ones are my absolute favorite ones, not because they're the ones with the most views, but, well, the views are, like, a result of how much work I put into those. Because I'm, I'm very critical on my own work, as most people are. 
So um, uh, the Witcher ones, I'm as- the Witcher one especially is the one I'm most proud of, and uh, it's just I, I'm kind of, I was kind of inspired by uh, um, people yeah. like the AV- AVGN, Angry Video Game Nerd, JonTron, those type of people mm-hmm. to like do something different rather than I used to just do reviews like um, oh here's some gameplay footage here's some narration here's the do's and don't the facts blah 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 and I'm like it's time to be entertaining you know so I get some friends together we um, and they don't know how to work a camera as you can probably tell from some of them (laughs) (laughs) well that's what it's all about as long as you're doing something Mm -hmm. like VGB started a year before it actually started of just us talking, oh, we should totally do this. What if we did this? And no one did a damn thing. And then finally one day we were just like, well, let's just do it, man. We got a couple <laughs> microphones. And then that's how it started. Oh, uh, God damn it. I wish I could go down memory lane and tell you everything about wow, VGB and its origins. But we cannot do that. What you playing? What you playing? Because what you playing started. <laughs> what you playing is, of course, America's favorite game show that we do on this show. Uh, it's where we stop whatever we're doing and talk about what we've actually been playing. Since oh. this is a video game podcast. Yeah. Oh. So, Steven, we'll start with you. Uh, I just got back into... Minecraft Pixelmon. Yes. Oh, okay. Um, I saw you guys streaming this one. Yes. That right. was, uh, it's good. I don't know why we stopped just randomly, but. Uh, I don't know why either. Well, I know why I kind of stopped. I, I stopped because there was no uh, gym leaders. They didn't incorporate gym leaders in there. There was gym leaders on the server we you, played. You couldn't you find them. You couldn't find them. That was the problem. They were always offline. Oh, uh, because they were actual people. They were actual people, yeah. And then when we did battle one, I know I, when I battled uh, one, he cheated. it was like the yeah. most OP gym leader. Oh, everything's 100. Yeah, like it made no sense. Whenever you play an actual Pokemon game, you, of course you're going against the computer, but you can feel like, oh, I can beat this Can guy. you imagine yeah. if you played Pokemon and like the first gym leader has all level 99 Pokemon? Yeah, like, like fuck you, you guys. Oh, my God. You wouldn't even get far in that game because it'd just be a grind fest to beat the first guy. That yeah. Suck. So you guys are back on that one. Are you playing anything else, or is that it? Um, you still on the Fallout shelter? No, I was playing Metal Gear for the longest until I was out of internet, right? <laughs> you for, ran out for like a week. Wow! And my life, I had the gun. It was like <laughs> oh. I was ready to go. I was about to check out all Terrible. the letters, and then finally it kicked on, and then I uh, put it down. <laughs> Holstered it. I was like, for another day. Oh, that was close. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> don't lie. Yeah, the yeah, I tried to. I tried to play. Was, he was standing on a chair with a tie around his neck, jerking it. <laughs> I tried to play David Carradine. Is that is that right? <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah, what game? Uh, I was trying to play just games on my Xbox, and they were like, "Oh, you, you're not online." Did they? Yeah, they do we they? can't connect, and then they were like, "Push me out." Really? Yeah, and I was like, "What? What? What Did is they that?" Do all that about? overnight? Did Xbox? Uh, Microsoft did that overnight, where you had to be online to play your games. It was it was like some like like Metal Gear did it to me because the day That's before place. my internet went out, uh-huh. I connect online for the first time because I kept getting an error code, and then once I got online, it's basically online mode it, that went into that setting. Oh. So every time I tried to play, it didn't register me as hooked up to the internet, so it just kicked me out. Kicked me out. I haven't went back to check and make sure it works. That sucks. Um. But yeah, every other game that I was playing, like I had to go back to Dying Light <laughs> because wow. because Poor it was like the only game I could play offline, and I played it like for like maybe an hour and then I stopped. That's yeah. And then, Dying Light's not bad. No, no it's, it's actually pretty it's, good. Yeah. It's, it's, Roger it's, Craig it's, Smith it's a fun game. Awesome Roger that. Craig Smith. Yeah, he's a fine that that guy. guy. Terrible game. He's terrible. Part of okay, the screen okay. Just you didn't like it because you sucked at it. Moving no. on to Aaron Carter. He did not like it. Now that I've got the mic. uh yeah, no, I'm still on Pixelmon as well. I like, uh, I, I mean, Minecraft is always just good, and at its core, it is just Minecraft as well, but mm-hmm. with hundreds of Pokemon in there. Um, so that livens it up and everything like that. And then uh, I've been playing Buzzkill. <laughs> That's a good one. That <laughs> yeah. is a good one. <laughs> a good uh, one. What else have I been playing? I got off of uh, Fallout Shelter. Really? Like, yeah, I'm waiting well, for another update. That's, yeah, I yeah, kind of ran out of things to do. How yeah. many people did you get to, though? I probably had, like, I don't know, 30. Oh, my God. You didn't any... even get to the death clause. What do I need the death clause for? To make the game more difficult. What a, I've, I've accomplished. I have a sustained 
running. <laughs> so you beat the game? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They live. They're happy. Everybody's happiness. Have you went back? 80% or above. If I go back now, because I haven't been back in like, I don't know, like three weeks. They're probably weeks, all dead. They're probably eating each other. <laughs> like, can, there's probably two can factions can on each side that they've started or something like that. Yeah, but, <laughs> there's a war. Yeah. I, I mean, I, I just couldn't bring myself to go back without something really enticing to go back. So Pixelmon has been doing it for me. Of course, Smite have been playing that like crazy, of course, too. Uh, what else? I think that's... Oh, and then we played, of course, uh, Eon Altar. Eon Altar. On, on what do you think of it? One. I like it. it. I really... Did so, you know we didn't beat the full first episode? We didn't? No, that was only like... the. There's three episodes... Or I don't know. Three stories per episode? How, what's the hierarchy Th- there? There's an act. There's three, three episodes three per acts. act? Yeah, three acts per, per episode. Per episode, maybe. Then. So like, we only completed acts. the first one and he... I think it wouldn't and be the episodes dev- per act? No, no, no. Acts, because acts are like beginning, middle, end. Yeah, we'll go with that. So, <laughs> we, the first one is apparently the shortest. That's all we beat. Okay. So, we have two more chapters. Chapters. There we go. Chapters. Oh, that works. Zach, can we settle? Yeah, chapters. we go chapters. Yeah. Chapters in the episode. So, so, you beat a page. I think <laughs> the, the thing was... <laughs> to make it complicated. I think the thing was... Um, we were tired. We're all, yeah, I was going to say, we're all tired. Yeah. But that game is so... It, it, it takes D&D and really, like, like has you play like you are that character so like when things come up saying do you want to say or you know do you want to keep this to yourself or say this out loud seeing those the other players actually say the other words and stuff like that out loud yeah, like when you i just have wanna, to you have yeah. to rp yeah you rp it the whole thing is rp so it's taking it's literally a very good blend of two worlds of virtual playing and rping you know because like if you're playing uh gauntlet you know or something like that on the you know gamecube or something like that you're not repeating the lines or saying any lines that they're saying there's voice actors in there that say any cutscenes or something like that in a video game that's multiplayer but this one you are the voice actor you are that character you are yeah and <laughs> you're in the game like yeah you're <laughs> in the game pretty much and so i liked that little thing like one of the parts that we played mm-hmm. larissa's character she's talking to an npc and she mentioned something that i have knowledge about and it shows me on my phone like oh you know about the orb or something that you know she's referring to either you can say hey that's an evil thing i know about that or you can keep it to yourself mm, i chose you to keep it, i kept it to myself it was like if i need to take larissa out at any point i need to just slit that's her throat. that's slit oh. her throat. <laughs> just gonna kill it slit the witch's just... throat and move on with your lives <laughs> yeah, you kill it. damn uh joey what you been playing all right so uh two games are taking on my life right now um I'm I'm on my new 3DS uh, to and from school because I never play handhelds at home. I don't know why. Uh, Link Between Worlds, Legend of Zelda. I just beat a Link to the Past, like I said, uh-huh. and this is this is the latest official Zelda game, and it's really Im- fine tuning on elements of 3D Zelda games, even though it's technically 2.5D that they're hinting at bringing back in Zelda U. Like you can go to any dungeon you want in any order. I Would like that. Feature. I, mean? I like yeah, that a lot. I really yes. like that. That feels like you have control over your own destiny basically yeah I exactly like and it's not as hard as link to the past in terms of finding stuff mm-hmm. but it's still pretty stinking hard for a modern day zelda yeah. game yeah. Yeah. which is great and that's what i like about it the I whole did renting it. items to go to the dungeons is pretty yeah cool. it is oh, really yeah, neat. Pretty cool. and uh metal gear solid 5 is the big one right the perfect now. game huh uh, uh, ign no. says <laughs> according, 10 according out of 10? to ign 10 out of 10 not just not just ign come on oh yeah that's everyone it was like yes. yeah yeah jeez okay so my mom just called there, me yeah. she sent me a text and <laughs> she's like hey have you played this game <laughs> have you played this metal <laughs> gear <laughs> it's so cool <laughs> is there supposed to be any like extra part of this that's going to be uh, of uh, metal gear that's supposed to come out like a multiplayer mode or something yeah. yes metal gear online uh, uh, i think it's like october 4th so kind of like th- grand yeah. theft auto did yes okay After and it's game. free though right it's free it, definitely if you bought the game you no know, it's yeah. not free hey, though i was gonna say the horse armor terrible <laughs> <laughs> terrible so, your horse has got to be protected at all times <laughs> exactly. i've seen glitches where the horse like lands on a tank and and rides the yeah, tank rides yeah the tank, the tank, the when there's a stuff. horse in any game there's bound to be a glitch with that horse <laughs> well, the I mean, witcher 3 that horse is more powerful than Geralt you and can literally breathe underwater you haven't seen the new one <laughs> no where it's like the guy got the perfect uh, S rank sneak he threw a smoke grenade in the back of a jeep and then drove the jeep into the town in front of people and there's just leaving like a smoke trail behind him. Wow. But like you can see the Jeep like clear as day. Oh god. He sneaks into where he's gotta go, throws another smoke grenade, goes, grabs the guy, puts him in the Jeep, drives out. 
Perfect. Got an S rank wow. and everything. That's but horrible. you see like him driving and it's like a fart trail behind the Jeep. That's <laughs> He's covering and all the NPCs are like, whoa, oh, what's going on? Smoke. And then they're like, but they don't see you. But they don't see the, the they don't Jeep. See you. Yeah. The massive Jeep that's driving by them. Hilarious. Oh that's man, this mother. this game is really great though. It's good. Uh, ten, mean, out of 10. ten out of ten. So it's you guys are going it's to not perfect. Day I, I, one download the uh, multiplayer. I don't know, because um, I'm not big on multiplayer. Most no. likely I'll be working, but I will try. What's what's supposed to be uh, so special about the multiplayer? Uh, it's a multiplayer is it still o- well, no, because you know like, how, like Grand Theft Auto is open. It's like a single player mission, but you play with other people. I don't know. I only the only thing I saw of Metal Gear Online was the trailer back at the Game Awards in 20, uh, 2014. and uh, it looks like there's uh, there's people guarding the base. This might just be one of the f- very many game modes, mm-hmm. and um, then there's another. There's another squad trying to infiltrate the base uh, in any stealthy way oh, possible. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, it's interesting. So, yeah, they they have missions, and I think that's what's going to get released is people can go invade your mother base and take like your resources and kill your soldiers that oh, okay. you've been recruiting. Okay. okay. Throughout the game. Yes. So in the game, there's like weapon unlocks that you can purchase and use, and your security team can use them. Um, and they'll walk around with like an AK or a sniper rifle and yes. stuff. So they like protect your base while you're gone. Or I if think you that's infiltrate a thing that's with out them, right now, yeah. right? Um, I, like I said, I was out for internet for like a week, and I don't. I have, haven't and I don't got have, a chance. To, I don't have. To, and he's like, and then there's a black guy as president. I don't yeah. know what's yeah. everything is going crazy. <laughs> it's gone crazy. And I don't have PS Plus, so I don't even know. <laughs> but yeah, it's it's gonna be kind of cool to infiltrate mm-hmm. people's bases, and it's steal free. their characters. It's free. Yeah, see, that's yeah. that's the best part that's of it. It's not a hundred dollars. That's what matters to Aaron. <laughs> no, trust me. I mean, because everybody's singing the praises of the new Destiny. The and Taken. You've the Taken paid, King, and you've bought a new game. Yeah, it's not Destiny. New game. You bought Destiny Two. Yeah, exactly. Electric boogaloo. And so yeah. uh, that free on there, that freemium right there, I'm telling you, it's it's worth something, people. When you can knock somebody out in multiplayer, slap a balloon on them and extract them. Yeah, that's great. As Other your own actual soldier. person? Yeah. Uh, wow. Like, live, yeah, that's you can like knock them out and just extract them. So those things are called Fultons, and uh, I saw a post, it was like, it was like a screenshot of the game, but there was a bunch of like goats being pulled up by Fultons, and it's like Metal Gear Solid Five: The Fulton Pain. Wow, <laughs> that's pretty it's like, cool. Ah, internet, so clever. It's, okay. it's the best. And they're on the jeep, and they just put one on the jeep, and the jeep goes with the guy inside, and he's just like, oh, one right. time I did it. Uh, there was there was like a supply truck. It was like almost a semi truck, and so what I did was they stopped, and uh, they were still in the in the truck. So I put a recovery system like on the hood, and they still didn't notice me. And then they just got pulled up into the sky, not even <laughs> reacting. And That's I'm like, perfect. this is excellent. <laughs> ten out of ten. Game might ten be a ten. ten out of ten. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. <laughs> when you can, uh, when you do stuff like that. Phone. You can get your horse to poop on people. Yeah, you can. Classic. <laughs> they uh, call it defecation. Let's see. Because that's what it is. As far as games I've been playing, glad you asked, Aaron. Uh, oh yeah. I've been yeah. playing Batman: Arkham Knight. And I'm pleasantly surprised with the game. Oh, so late Are to the you? party. I'm wow. really late to the party. Uh, yeah. You know, I thought the bat... I only, my only experience with it really was watching our own David Webb play the game. Uh-huh. He's not the best one to watch if you want to find out <laughs> what, if a game is good or not. Because wow. I saw him driving the Batmobile, and he's running into shit, and he's backing up, and he's like Austin Powers. <laughs> he's stuck Terrible. in the corridors. I'm like, oh, they put no thought into this Batmobile. It's going to be garbage. But then I actually got to sit behind the wheel of that bad boy for a little while and it's freaking cool. Did like, you change the controls? No, I left the them the same. No, I left How could you... That's what I've heard of. a lot of people How can the you drive right like the that? I didn't change what the controls. What was wrong? I don't know. I, They're I terrible it. like driving controls. When you, when you equip the tank you have to hold the left trigger. Yeah, that's right. Which I mean. a lot of... Yeah, which is fine by me but a lot of people don't really like that. They just want like... And I understand like manual switch and then you're just there. You don't have to keep the holding the driving mechanics oh. off. Like it's it's weird. I, I saw know. that in a lot of reviews. You couldn't drive the vehicle. Did you set it to toggle between drive mode and tank mode? Tank mode. Well, that's was that what uh, originally came with? No, yeah. Right now, I have to hold it, and then I can start swallowing back. I can yeah. Go back the original yeah. mode is holding left trigger. Yeah, yeah. I I I changed mine's and yeah, yours is now tough. like it's it's kind of like um, I don't want to say like Borderlands. Oh, okay. That's how the the tanks drive or the. The bad mobile mobile. Drives. thing is yeah. uh, that's hurting me right now is I'm in, I, we moved to a new house. Uh, the living room is a lot bigger. Like, I'm way – and not, like, bigger, but, I mean, like, I'm way further away from the TV than I used to be. Uh-huh. And I have a fairly decent-sized TV. 
and now I'm just squinting at it, you know, like an oh. old guy. I'm sitting way up on the chair Better trying glasses, to see. glasses, maybe? And ba- no, <laughs> I, I could see, but the thing is with Batman, there's so many little details you got to be looking out for yeah. constantly. Yeah. Huh. So and then little tiny fonts on the screen that we need. I need to be paying oh, attention that to. Sucks. Or yeah. or. You need a bigger TV. That's mm. true. Yeah. Oh, mm. I'll, well. I'll plead my case. Think about that. <laughs> Good luck. case to the old lady. Think Good about luck. that. Reminds me of when I had to put my 26-inch uh, inch TV into my living room because our 40-inch was taken away from us. Uh-huh. It's, a, it's, a, it's a long, sad story. <laughs> Damn. And then I'm Maybe like, we'll... oh, great. I can't see shit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Try going back to a standard diff. Oh, the fat oh. back ones. Oh my god. TVs, yeah. Why what standard yeah. definition? I know, right? Yeah. <laughs> He's like, what is standard definition? How many <laughs> <laughs> that something came out in the nineties. How many H's? No, I watched, no H's. I watched Star Wars episode six recently in full screen. I do not recommend it. <laughs> I don't recommend watching any of the I remember being a kid. Next ones. I remember being a kid and they took me to the store and said I can get the Star Wars D V D pack. Just regular DVDs. Mm. And I could choose between widescreen and full screen. And me just being a complete idiot kid was just like, oh, well, widescreen, like, that crushes it all down. And I can't see the whole screen because we didn't have a, you know, we didn't have the widescreen TV. <laughs> uh-huh. I was like, what the fuck is this? You know, what's all that black strips on there? <laughs> full screen, bitch. And then now <laughs> I was like, fuck. Yeah. I was an idiot. I was the same way. I was like, I thought full or met was better, but not. Yeah, nope. <laughs> it takes the full screen using that real estate. Yeah, no. No. Heads cut off here. Apparently not. Like I brought it over, and this was with a gathering. We were watching it. A lot of people, it was their first time seeing the movie, and I put yeah, it in. And I like, like, oh, what is this? What the hell were you thinking? You what did they film with? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> iPhones? Camcorders? Or something? Yeah. <laughs> like, they all it looked like potato? <laughs> Handy cams? Is that well, what Well, if we find a VCR... I have the original trilogy on, on VHS. Oh, there we go. Oh, unre- unedited? Uh, you know what? That's a good question. That's, That's what I was going to say. That's I'm, I'm, I'm it's like VHS. I'm assuming. No, it's well, well, actually, uh, I think uh, it was no, late had. 90s. He released them on VHS. Yeah, no, this is this looks older than that. Did you okay, hear that they're actually go. re-releasing the original cuts. Of I'll believe them? it when I hear it officially from Disney. Is it officially from Disney? Yeah. It's I, official I, from Nerd Reactor. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, that's, that's something. Yes. He's like, <laughs> that's I write something. some of those articles. And I, I don't trust myself. So. Um, do you want them? Hell yeah. Because, I mean, they're going to do it you another can, five years. No, but you could. No. He's like, no, wait, the original cuts. Where's though. Darth Vader? He's He's been added. He wasn't even in the original he movie. He wasn't even in the original They're cutting out, like, all the weird, wonky 3D well, there CGI was, there stuff was, that they added. So are they adding the original. Jabba scene where it was just a dude in a giant uh, coat. Well, that I wasn't even in the original one. I could have sworn well, I it was. They, it was. But they it CG'd wasn't. over him with a Jabba the Hutt. Uh, yeah, because Jabba the Hutt was meant to be this like Scott, big Scottish yeah, dude. I remember that, and I remember seeing it, and I was like, oh crap! And, and I remember seeing them draw well, then, over him. There's, and being, a, there's a part where, um, where it's like you, it's clearly CGI, but there's a part where Han walks behind him, and it's like, oh well, that doesn't work because Jabba's got this big giant fucking tail behind him, yeah. and so they make it so Han's like walking over him hella badly. Oh yeah, yeah. They, like, <laughs> Scope in where it awkwardly yeah. goes over. Yeah. <laughs> that was terrible. Yeah, I think this is going to be the original cut, though. So Han's going to shoot first. Uh, or, oh, he, he didn't even shoot first. Shoot first. He just shot. Yeah. Greedo yeah, didn't exactly. even shoot back. Yeah. <laughs> Greedo didn't even get a chance. He so he's know. a bad aim? Is that what you're saying? Ooh, Han? No, yeah, Han. No, he's sh- in the original he shot cut. and killed him. There's your original uh, Jabba the Hutt right there. Is that really? Yes. I haven't seen it, actually. I, we, I remember looking at behind the scenes. I remember looking at behind the scenes of it, and it's the part where when they first meet, or when they first go into well, He the, looks the exact same. They're, <laughs> <laughs> they're going to the Millennium Falcon for the first time or whatever, and Jabba's there, and he just, like, walks out of nowhere, and he goes up and that talks to so him. so not intimidating. And I was no, like, what the hell is... I was like, who is that? And it was like, that's Jabba the Hood. And then they showed uh, how they CG'd over him, how they were going to add the fat, you know, mm-hmm. Jabba. Oh, oh, Does he still uh, oh, talk oh, like... Oh, uh, oh, see, I don't know slavery. how they got... How do they, how do they get from that to a giant slug alien? Uh, you I, know, I don't know. Uh, that looks like Peter Jackson shaved. <laughs> wow, that's, that's terrible. That's terrible. <laughs> Peter Jackson in Star Wars. You know... Uh, from what I heard too in the originals, R2D2 had a foul mouth. 
Like he uh, was wow. a more, That'd be he, hilarious. He had a... Beep, 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 beep. Go fuck yourself, Luke. <laughs> 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 Sarah. Which <laughs> is why, like, in a lot of the scenes, C-3PO That's is horrible. like, says, oh, you, you know, I can't believe you said that, because he was really saying some nasty stuff. Mm-hmm. I'm going to tap that ass, lad. I'm going to tap that ass, bitch. Actually, Aaron did the original voiceover. For the original. Back that, in the- that reminds me of the original line for uh, the 1989 Batman movie was, I'm Batman, motherfucker. Yeah. Was it really? <laughs> it was. Wow. It really was. That had to be from, who was that? That was, uh, what was his name? Keaton? The director? No, Tim no, no. Burton. Oh, Tim Burton, yeah. Yeah. Sounds like something he would say. Yeah. It killed him <laughs> for me. Batman, Walking Dead. Uh, in one of their seasons, they did the finale, and it was this pivotal moment where they got screwed over really bad. It was really traumatic. And uh, the main guy, Rick, says, these guys screwed with the wrong people. <laughs> and it was totally... <laughs> just say That's fuck. so unnatural. Well, yeah, or I, bleep it out or something. Like, they well, screwed AMC with us. Well, AMC shows usually have like that one F-bomb in like one season. So it's like, that would have been perfect. <laughs> they used the it time. in Mad Men. No, <laughs> no other show. They used it in Breaking Bad, it. too. Did they oh really? yeah, they, they, they use all their cussing in Breaking Bad. Oh, I wow. fucked Bitch. Ted. <laughs> wow, I didn't know they uh, did that in Breaking Bad. Yeah. Did you know that those series cross over? Breaking Bad and what? And Walking Dead are in the same universe. That's yeah. so terrible. How do you think they all turn into zombies? That's extremely Blue terrible. Crystal Meth. <laughs> well, in one of the original seasons, uh, oh. Merle pulls his drug stash out, and there's blue crystal meth in the bag. Oh really? Guys, that's how just they did because it? yeah. it's an Easter egg doesn't yeah. mean it's canon. Oh, it's Everybody. canon. <laughs> Just like uh, E.T. is in the Star Wars I suppose Wars the universe. next thing you'll be telling me is all Ubisoft games are connected, which oh they God. are. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say. That's, that's just, just a theory. A game, a game theory. theory. Yeah, <laughs> and now all our viewers are going over to his channel, right? <laughs> yeah, no, that's, that's true. <laughs> exactly. It's a good channel. So uh, we talked about this was the birthday of Nintendo. Uh, mm-hmm. I wanted to have uh, Joey talk about a very controversial comment he made, and I want to get Aaron and Steven's opinions on it. Ooh, uh, I'm good you remember what you know what I'm referring to, Joey? DLC. Uh, the, the, <laughs> wait, what? Uh, Zelda Horse DLC? What? No, I'm just kidding. Yeah. Um, something about how uh, the new president. Um, whoa, 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 whoa! Is that the one? What's that? Where, I don't. Where are we going now? Now we're going Jesus. with the one. You got some flack on your page. A lot of people were. Going uh, against you. Let me try. And there was only it. one guy. Yeah. <laughs> was it like, just one guy? It give, was just one guy. If I can give you some advice when you get flack on your page or anything, answer it directly, <laughs> right head on. Don't don't deflect. Don't be like oh well. You well, know, you see, was on the actual article, and I think John would have gotten mad at me if I had responded. Go, <laughs> you gotta you gotta answer him. You can always apologize. Yeah, you can. I mean, if it gets, I'm sorry. Just do the. My bad. Because <laughs> uh, the thing that I. I like about well, I like and dislike about internet uh, debating is usually they they'll start off with something. Should we provide the view- listeners with the the context of what we're talking about first, though? I don't even know what the context is. This, I don't this know. I don't know. Everything. What 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 were you I talking about? The okay. controversial okay. thing. Yeah, let me let me go. Joey Ferris, September seventeenth, uh-huh. nine a.m. Okay. Was it night or day? This is getting intimate. It's at 9 a.m. I'm scared. <laughs> 9 a.m. So, <laughs> so it's kind of <laughs> morning. solid. Oh, I didn't hear that part. I was, oh, okay. I was paying attention to my boner. <laughs> uh... Continue, please. The Wii U may have failed financially, but I'm still going to defend it to death. You will oh, yeah, never, <laughs> never find a su- better supply of unique first-party games on any other system. And what did you say? I said... Were you the heckler? Is that what's going on? <laughs> he was. I Jeez. said he really was. Defend yourself on the podcast next week. Busy next Wednesday. He says I'm free at three. I said cool. <laughs> Netflix and chill. <laughs> Netflix and chill. <laughs> and I made that face. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I sure. All right. So that does kind of connect with what I was saying. Um, the new president of Nintendo said that the uh, we he knew the Wii U was going to fail, and it's like, well, it failed financially. Of course, it only sold 10 million units. Which is really sad because that's less than the Dreamcast. And I'm like, wow. But it's like the Wii U is a really, really good system. Like, my God. Is it? It is. So I'm, I'm Googling oh. first party games for the Wii U. That's that's what I'm, I have to do. You mean do. the only games? Uh, oh, yeah, because they really the did have too much third party support. They, that's... The third parties jumped ship, and that kind of made me mad. Well, <laughs> and it, we are not the biggest Call of Duty fans by any means. Me, yeah, me either. <laughs> but the one day when all the consoles were new, we brought them all to one house, and we basically cycled through them all. Okay. Uh, each week, 
we would play a new one for hours and then go straight upstairs and podcast our opinions and yeah, thoughts from I the controller that. comfort, the games we played, yeah. what we thought. And from the Wii U, I remember it just had an ability to take normal games and then make them unplayable. Like Call of Duty what? was ridiculous. There was like no crouch or something like that. Do you remember that? There was Aaron? no crouch? I never played the Call of Duty ports. It, it, he, the first person shooters didn't feel right on the, that giant tablet. They felt way <laughs> off. Uh, the games we had fun with were Wario. The party games. The, yeah, the party the, games. The first party party games, yes. Um, so your Mario Karts, your Smash Brothers, your... Uh, what was the one where one person, whoever had a tablet, was kind of like... I don't know, it was like their demo thing. It was like oh, their, was it Nintendo, Nintendo, Nintendo Land. Land? Yeah, Nintendo yes. Land. Like, stuff like that, it felt right. And, it, and it, it's only a testament because they made the stuff. So it, They you, made it, yeah, exactly. Yeah, they know how to utilize it. I think the other third-party developers... Like, it's it's to me, it's an amazing system or idea mm-hmm. for a system but third party developers are like well this we know this works a controller a box and a TV mm-hmm. not a TV in your hand uh, and so forth but so I think they felt like we don't want to take that extra step to be creative when we know what works Madden that's what's going to work you know like you could have done so much stuff with <laughs> all type of genres of games <laughs> with that screen in your hand I don't think I ever played the Wii U by myself I think I only played it with friends. But ever since the Wii came out, who plays anything Nintendo by themselves besides handhelds? And not even that anymore. I do. And that's a sad <laughs> statement right there. Like, so think about it. The Wii came out, and it's a party system. I'm Wii, not going to argue with that. Wii no. Sports, everybody has to get on. Who played Wii Sports by themselves? I did uh, a couple of times, but that's because I was really bored. Like, you got <laughs> you got to be there. I, I mean, so... <laughs> When Wii U came out, I know they were trying to tout it as, this is for you, this is your console, this is going to be the hardcore games that you're going to love, but we already see you in a light that's like, bring everybody over. And then the games that you come out with to demo what the, the capabilities of this system are party games, so it's like, how how do you, like, I don't know, what were, their, what were first party games that were single player centric? Like, it was targeted for just a single player, you don't need anybody else. This is a single player first party game. Bayonetta 2 wasn't made by Nintendo, but so it was a console exclusive. So there's that one. Yeah, but not first party. Like Hyrule Warriors. Hyrule Warriors, still made by Koei, right? Yeah, but it has yeah, all the not, characters not, in it. Not a first party game, though. If I make a system, I'm going to show you how to use it. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to give you the best. Uh, the best demo of how I can make like this is how you make a first you know a single player game with our system and then you look at it like oh that's the stuff you can do with it now let me do it with my license that's how you get third party support on that yeah really so if I don't show that with my own stuff then I'm gonna think oh all I can make is party games I don't want to do that and then you got people like uh, the what's the Quake Engine people. Uh, 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 Id, what? Id, yeah, who dropped out of the Wii U and was like, "We're not making games on the on the Wii U." Like, no, why? Why would we do that? Because they they see the other stuff that's like, this is how you make first person shooters on the 360 and PS3, uh, mm-hmm. you know. And then we're gonna do the exact same thing when we translate it to the PS4 and Xbox One. We, I'm not making a Quake on Wii. I'm not making a stuff like that. <laughs> and unique first party games for Wii U, I mean, which ones did they do that didn't include characters that they had established for over 20 years already? And they can't. Splatoon. Splatoon is the only one that really comes to mind. For well, me. still, multiplayer, that still right? answers your question. And did it... Oh, you said... Single player. I'm going to defend it to death. You'll never find a better <laughs> supply. <laughs> and you really I quote, won't. <laughs> <laughs> I think what Because you, the thing is, let's, let's, let's take the back in time 2014... That was pretty much the Wii U's absolute best year, but that's mainly because um, PS4 and Xbox One were not sporting very good games at that time. Let's they're not sporting good games. Yeah, yeah, they're not, they're yeah, still, when did they start? It's still a struggle. <laughs> Everybody's <laughs> limping to the finish line here until <laughs> the next console comes out. Yeah, really. Um, and I felt the Wii U was pretty much the only console I had fun on, really, especially in the fall when Broken Creed Unity came out 
and uh, I was really turned off by Infamous Second oh, Son. Unity yeah. was so disappointing. Yeah, I mean, I'm glad they fixed it now. I'm playing on Xbox One currently, and that's when it's fixed. Is it, it's safe now? It's safe. You can go back to it. <laughs> <laughs> Return. <laughs> uh, isn't it too late? They're about to come out with another one now. God damn it. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah you're going you're gonna to go back to it right when Syndicate comes out? So, yeah. Yeah. But where so were they we? Want Nintendo. Um, so, yeah, but right now the Wii U is in a really dark place. I won't deny that. But I still have to say that I'm not going to try out and say Wii U is the best system ever made. But, oh, my God. it's. I feel like it doesn't get the credit it deserves. It's always constantly being bashed for what it isn't rather than what it is. It's a it's a what it should it's, have been it's a type glorif- of thing. To me, yeah. it's a glorified Mario Kart and Smash Brothers machine. That that system had zero traction before those two games came out. Yeah, that yeah. game and when when the Mario Kart Special Edition came out was like th- then you couldn't find them. They flew off the shelves for that. And mm-hmm. then Smash Brothers wasn't even as big of a uh, hit. It wasn't. That surprised me. Yeah, Mario Kart to me was a bigger hit for them money it's, wise. It has a half um like half user attach rate. So like fifty percent of people that own Wii U's own that own that game. Mario, yeah, it's because really Mario Kart is more like. And they did a good I job. see it as more a universal really game than great. I do Smash Brothers because Smash Brothers is like, oh, that's a fighting game. E- exactly. Yeah. So Smash I don't, Bros. is more um, hardcore. And, as, and as most Mario games, Kart yeah. is like racing. Anybody can pick that up, play, and mm-hmm. kind of get the gist of it. Fighting games is more tactics and strategy and stuff you have to do in order to uh, you know get good and have actual fun in it. Because if I'm getting my ass whooped every time I'm playing the game, you know I don't care. But Mario Kart, if I come in last, I'm try my hardest to be that first place next. Next match. Next so. uh, angry Luigi yeah. staring you down. That yeah. was classic, too. <laughs> that, that exploded. Um, how many more? Let's just be honest. Even though Nintendo, f- people who love Nintendo will stick to their guns and say it was great. But yeah, it was a financial failure. Okay. GameCube, financial failure. Yeah. And GameCube also GameCube. had some really great games. That GameCube was had great games. But yeah. GameCube. You know, that's when games were so good, though, that even though the GameCube had amazing games... PlayStation and Xbox just had better games at the they time. They just yeah, and, and they were competing in the same market. Though. It's that was when the problem, we though. weren't jaded on because we're still playing the same franchises we were that got started in that era. But they were again, they were in the same market. It was just a less powerful machine, and they did yeah. the exact same thing the other ones did. When the Wii right. came out uh, uh, to go against the 360 and the PS3, it did something totally different with the motion controls, and, and that like worked. That. And, that's and that's kind that's of why, what yeah. that's kind of what Nintendo was trying to go for, but um. Of course, that was proved they, to be not really a good idea. <laughs> Wii, but the but the Wii U tried to jump back into that market. Uh, it it literally tried to do what the GameCube did. It tried to jump back into the market with the two big. But it also cri- tried to use the same Wii name, which yeah. was only confusing for uh, people who aren't like us who are into yeah. the game. Which yeah, is they most it was an Wii users. users. Which is yeah. most Wii users. So who they are, try to get yeah. that. Yeah, they try to get that crowd over too. But it, it exactly. I don't know. It, it wasn't. The Wii U should have been where the what GameCube the Wii was. where the GameCube was, like should have came out at that time because the GameCube came out around the same time as you know the but there was no like real touchscreen you know was, solid touchscreen technology. Back if the then, Wii U came out back then, it'd be expensive. Oh yeah, it'd be crazy expensive. <laughs> but Jesus. so their next one, this this NX. Uh, NX which is there's a lot of weight on the shoulders. In they, mystery. I'm of it's, the opinion that they cannot afford to fail. On it, this next it has to be. You a think it's going to be a make or break? The uh, I well, it no. it's not going to break the company. No, it, it could yeah. break their console business. Yes. There you go. Yeah, because if worse comes to worse, they could sell Mario Three. licensed games to or Xbox and PlayStation. They would I'm, never do that. They would. Ne- they, they would, would build, be a third party developer like Sega has become. They would. Mm. Bo- they, I'm saying they would never do that. Third party. Really? Developer. Sonic is a whore now. He's on everything. Yes. He <laughs> they would build that pillar dirty of hedgehog. handheld. <laughs> dirty, dirty they, hedgehog. They would build that pillar of he- of handheld, and they would push towards that market because that handheld, that handheld does well, not the, die. Didn't Mario or Nintendo? <laughs> didn't Mario? He runs the company. Yeah, right? yeah. President Mario. President Mario. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> didn't they just make a deal for mobile games? Yes, they did. Yeah. They, and, and didn't we swear that would never happen? They would we never all sell. Did. Out. I never, Even I did. Go I was back. like, go, go back. back. I, I said they said would. I thought I you were. I thought you were on no, the other side. I said they'll sell to Disney. I'm of the opinion. <laughs> That's what I said they'll sell. I'm of to the Disney. opinion. You mean Disney would just buy them? Would they buy them, they yeah. would get no option. That in the end, no matter what company or how much they love their characters or how much loyalty they have. It always is going to come down to that dollar. Yeah, 
and Nintendo needed the dollars. You I'd can, say that about every company. But I don't to think. Be honest. I, I don't think. Didn't see, they get bow- bailed this is, out by like their fans or something? What? Or no, no, it was the the people that worked for the company. Yeah, they started to give money. Kind of yeah, like to, to bail them out of. I, but I don't think cell phones and stuff and mobile devices are xbox and playstation they'll no. never be yeah so that's that's I, I direct competitor hate. like their that's their strategy to for this mobile thing is pure marketing is yeah. what i'm saying because if these apps are going to be payable they're not going to cost any more than maybe five bucks at most yeah there and i i imagine we'll see not really ads, but okay, yeah, pretty much kind of ads for like whatever the NX is, or it's it's getting into that casual market because the people, the casual people who the casual gamers who are playing on Wii are now playing on their smartphones yes. more than anything. So that's their strategy. This is what I'm what I think is to bring back their their casual audience, kind of make it more aware. It's smart because everybody has already a smartphone on them. Mm-hmm. It's the next step. I like. I don't know why they took so long already. I don't know why we didn't think of that when we said Nintendo would never go mobile. To be yeah. quite honest, <laughs> I, 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 they, it was inevitable for them to go mobile. Like to put it on there. Like there's already, there's already been emulators and stuff that you can mm-hmm. put on your cell phone. Yeah. So it's so just cool. like... It was one of those situations Mario. where I st- where at first Nintendo tells me, okay, so we're going mobile. And I would go, no, 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 don't. But then it's like, okay, calm down. Here's our but strategy. But what were your initial... What were your initial... Um, like, why wouldn't you want it on there? Before... You don't know, you want it on as many platforms as possible, accessible to everybody? I guess. <laughs> <laughs> well... I, I guess that it was just me kind of jumping on the, the whole bandwagon of Nintendo should not go on mobile because um, it was kind of like the excuse was they're better than that. They don't need that support. But then there's that point where you just got to just gotta bite the bullet. They, they make I, I, I relate to them 100% when it comes to one of my favorite companies, Microsoft. <laughs> I you love Microsoft. You want to see Halo on PlayStation? Uh, not so much when it comes to Xbox games. Okay. I said Microsoft, but I meant like Xbox. I was a huge diehard for the Windows Phone. Yeah, I believe it was going to be the next. You? It was. I I had stock. Hey! Oh, it doesn't pop up. All right. Yeah. No, no, right. Yeah, it doesn't pop up. Um, did it not pop up? No. Oh damn. No, it didn't. <laughs> well, you're watching it on Twitch, so it'll happen delayed. So you'll see and there, you have it. It. there you have it. There you have it. But now Microsoft completely dis- changed their strategy from being for a minute there when they were under Balmer. They were like, hey, hey, there, pop terrible. There you pop go. Uh, they were talking about, you know, we want to make a tablet. We're going to get into phones. We're going to make hardware. We're going to do all this stuff. Then failed on their face. Uh-huh. And then they switched. They're like, okay, fuck it. We're just going to make sure that all the other people have access to our software. That's where we're going to make our money. So that's why they went on to the Apple stage show. And during they were talking about the iPad, they invited Microsoft onto the stage at an Apple event to what? talk about Office. Like, yeah, iPads are going to be compatible with Office because we just want people using Office. So then, when what happened when everybody woke up? Because <laughs> I I couldn't sit through a conference of somebody talking about Office. Dream. <laughs> yeah, like, I, well, we're here to talk about Office. <laughs> wake, wake me up when it's over. And thank you. Oh, hey, Terrible. what? Terrible. Office is on what? What? Kindles? Okay, cool. <laughs> Kindles. That's cool. That's that's good. Um, we're running out of time. I did want to talk about one thing. Uh, loot crates. Okay. When does it get out of hand? What are we talking about price points here? Um, 20 is a sweet spot, and I think that's pushing it. I get an email <laughs> teaser a few months ago saying Fallout's going to get a special edition crate. Okay. Hell yeah. I'm like, he- exactly. I said, this is my jam. Like, I'm not a loot crate guy. No, I'm a power-up box guy. Okay. You know, so we're going to get the loot crate. I'm like, I will bite the bullet. I'm expecting special edition, maybe $50. I prepared myself. Really? That's... I prepared myself mentally. I said, if it's $50, and I'll get it. Okay. I'll even throw in shipping and handling. $54. Whatever. I don't care. So what if you just took off the shipping and handling? It was 50 Did they just throw mm. your box around? <laughs> <laughs> Is that what happened? You get no handling. No, yeah. no handling. Yeah, I pay for the shipping, but I don't want the yeah, handling. Some right. guy on a bike comes and brings you his damn... You should have paid the extra $4! <laughs> <laughs> Son of a bitch. Kicks it to my house. Uh, wow, good timing. Uh, it was $100. Do it. So wait. No. Do what? you get to... Do, do you, it. Do you get to know what's inside the they box They gave you... Beforehand? They said two items. A Fallout sweater. The <laughs> Vault 111. I don't know why I didn't say 111. 
uh, vault a one eleven sweater and a plush uh, meat sack. I can't remember meat dog meat. So oh, dog meat. Yeah, a plush fifty dollars each. They were saying probably. They were playing no okay, and then five other items. Okay, but still. Items. So that means these items are twenty dollars a piece. So is what I'm seven items. Here's the thing, though. On the thing, they're like, okay, the sweater retails for sixty bucks. Okay. $60. I'm paying a hundred. Yeah, that's already the if you're bulk. Al- if you're already exaggerating the cost of a fucking sweater, did you research the sweater? I bought the vault. Uh, Jacket, the 101 that I have. Uh huh. It's a oh, sweater. A sweater. <laughs> I understand. <laughs> On discount. Winter is coming for Corey. Like Twenty dollars. Twenty dollars. Oh yeah. So but I know you... that this 111 is gonna go on sale in the future. Okay. Is it I'm authentic in the sweater? I want collectibles. Is it collectibles. Yeah, you still wear the, 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 the 101 jacket. Yeah, but that's not a collectible. Everybody has that. So I want a think, unique pop vinyl. You think you're gonna get I something want... unique from a loot crate? Yeah. They give the same shit to, to everybody, everybody who buys it. Grab me that Groot right there. That This is uh, the Loot Crate Groot. Okay. He was in the Groot Crate. And you think nobody has that? People have it, but this thing, this sucker retails for like 80 bucks online. Oh, okay. Well. Because, you know, they only released it for that. I want exclusives. Okay. I want special things. So I love if they Vault. said Vault Loot or something like that on your... Not for $100. For $100, I'm out. Okay. I'm Audi mm-hmm. 5000. I'm Andre 5000. I, I wouldn't... $100 is way too much, definitely, for... Uh, way too yeah, much. Way too oh, much. my God. That's why I said 20. I better get the damn game with it. That's it, what it I'm might as well. That's you what might I'm as well, yeah. If it came with the game, even. I, I, I would do it if it came with the game. Because okay. I'm going to spend $60. Yeah, you're going to... Yeah, so you I know... I just bought two of them. <laughs> <laughs> $200. Yeah, no, nah, it, it, it should have come Let's with the see. game. You're going to be like, here's an Xbox. <laughs> and then especially if <laughs> I don't know if I don't know what should I'm getting in this, I don't like paying for things I don't know what I'm getting. Like, yeah. You know, that's yeah, terrible. That's true. I spent $35 on one of those I want to thank boxes. our special guest, Joey Ferris. Uh, go ahead and plug your stuff real quick. Uh, thanks for torturing me. This argument was going to probably be planned way better in my head. Um, <gasps> wow. All right, my stuff. You can... You can subscribe to me on YouTube. <laughs> uh, YouTube.com slash the Ferris of Wheels. Uh, some loser stole YouTube.com slash Ferris Wheel Pro. I hate when that happens. Yeah, so Ferris Wheel Productions is my YouTube channel. Twitter at Ferris Wheel Pro. That's pretty much that's pretty much the it. And you can it. read his articles and Aaron's articles and my articles and David Webb's articles, all of our articles. Articles, articles, articles on Nerd Reactor. <laughs> Did we mention articles? <laughs> and there's articles on there too. Oh, check out our YouTube video. Check, yes. It's on Nerd Reactor's YouTube channel. We did a cosplay video. As a matter of fact, after uh, we're done streaming here, we will stream it live for uh, the people watching. So if you are in the chat, stick around. Uh, but for Steven Gutierrez, Ferris Wheel Productions, Aaron Carter, and me, Corey Vincent, we will catch you guys this weekend for Aaron Carter's Video Game Bang Live. Don't be douchebags. Did y'all say 420 Blaze It? What is that?